Bailey Johnson, go ahead. Hi, Nikki. I guess just what are your overall takeaways from tonight? Mm -hmm. We didn't play well. Um, it's as simple as that. You know, I think we were dealt a blow before the game ever started. And I'd like to say that it didn't affect us, but I, I think it probably did. Um, you know, and I think, you know, uh, Vegas came out and they did the things that we knew they were going to do. Uh, they offensive rebounded. Um, they got in transition. We didn't do a good job getting the ball stopped. And then, you know, they did a good job of early help. So they really rotated early on us. And we didn't do a good job playing to the backside to our two on one. When the ball got stuck a lot, we didn't have great ball movement. We didn't have as good a player movement. So, you know, quite frankly, you know, I, I think that that's, that's the reality of, of the way this schedule is going to come at us fast and furious. Um, you know, I, I, I went to the bench, you know, obviously in long stretches in the second half because we, you know, are now in this stretch of a game every other day for the next two weeks, really two and a half weeks. So, um, you know, we just, we just have to get better. You know, we didn't shoot the basketball well, but I think, you know, our execution, we, we just didn't run the ball, make or miss. We didn't, we didn't run the ball at them as, as well as we could have. Um, Edwin Powell, go ahead. Hey coach, with a, a player like Asia Wilson, who is such a tremendous talent, is the goal just to really just try to make her work for her buckets and how do you feel your team did uh, against her tonight? Um, I mean, we weren't great, obviously. Um, you know, she was really efficient, uh, grabbed defensive rebounds. I think with Asia, you need to make her score over her over her left shoulder as opposed to her right. You can't let her drive left. You know, I think it was a tall task to ask a rookie to guard her. Um, I thought Britt worked her butt off, but quite frankly, um, you know, just probably isn't ready to guard Hamby and, and Wilson and as effective as they are. So, you know, it was trial by fire for her tonight. Um, I think Monique fouled her a couple times, um, and it's hard. When, when you do get her to turn the way that you want her to turn, she plays up through your arms, and uh, so she was able to get to the foul line. And year in and year out since she's been in this league, she's someone that gets to the foul line a lot. And, um, you know, we weren't, we weren't great against her tonight. We definitely weren't great. Last call for questions. Sydney Gibbs, go ahead. Hey, Coach. How do you build your build the team's confidence back up following a loss like this one and get ready for the Liberty? Yeah, you just let it go. I mean, you can't you can't get too high after a win. You can't get too low after a loss. Um, I thought we played really well on Sunday. We obviously did not play particularly well tonight. Two very different kind of teams. Um, you know, and so, you know, obviously New York's a young team trying to figure things out themselves. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully by Friday, we'll, we'll maybe have glory and we'll have Courtney. So we'll have a little more depth, a little more playmaking ability. And, uh, you know, that'll help. I mean, I'm, I'm proud that we battled, but, you know, we just, we didn't pull so many balls that we had two hands on that we couldn't grab that just somehow end up in their hands with a layup. Like those kind of plays are, are particular, particularly kind of depleting to a team and their morale. Um, you just got to let it go. Sometimes it's, it's easier to come back from getting your butt kicked in this league because uh, it happens to everybody. Look at L.A. I mean, they were great on, on Saturday and then struggled last night. Nobody's writing them off, you know. So I think it's, it's a matter of, hey, this is how we prepare for our next game. This is what we have to do against New York. Uh, you know, nobody played 35 minutes. So, you know, we're, we'll, we'll get them off their legs as much as we can and, and come back and, and battle. I mean, um, this is, you know, for us, like if, if people knew what, what we've been through as a team um, for the last three or four weeks uh, with everything that's gone on with our roster, I mean, I, I sometimes I, I've, I've hit the point where I, I like can't explain it anymore. It's like it's if, if it hasn't happened, it probably will. So, you know, we're just trying to take the blows as they come and, and get back up and stay positive. And so that, that was the message in the locker room. We have to be better. Um, if we're going to win games in this league, we've got to do what we do well, and we've got to pace and, and play fast. But, but ultimately, you got to let it go and keep believing in yourselves. And you know, the next game's a new game. All right, Danny Thompson, last question. Coach Danny Thompson, the three-point conversion. 
I know, as I said, tonight was a tough loss. You said you've been through a lot. But with the, within the first two games, being at one and one, was this something you expected or did something exceed your expectations to go through the first two games, not having Glory, not having Courtney, not having Kalani to be at one and one at this point? I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I think you can't dig a hole too big in this league and, and, and obviously be a playoff team at the same time. You know, I'm not sure I had expectations, you know, with, with everything that's happened to us, we've just find, we're just trying to believe in ourselves and find a way to keep clipping along and keep getting better and, and keep teaching culture. And, you know, I mean, we've got a rookie at the point who's really talented, um, who played great the other night and then, and then had her moments of struggle tonight. And, and I think they really challenged her with the way they, they played in help side and didn't make it easy on, easy on her and she probably settled for too many jump shots. So, you know, when she was so good the other night getting into the lane. So, you know, I, I don't know what my expectations were other than, you know, we just, we have to keep getting better and, you know, we've got to find a way to, to grind out wins and, and stay competitive. And in one game we were competitive and, and found a way to grind out a win. And today we just, we weren't competitive. I mean, it happens. I mean, and, and so, you know, you look at last night, Minnesota fought their way back and their, their opener to beat Connecticut and then really struggled in the second half against Seattle. I mean, you're going to see these moments, um, you know, where there certainly are teams that have played together longer and have a lot of veterans and a lot of playmakers. And, you know, we, we really have to be on our game to be successful. Edwin Powell, go ahead. Hey, Striggs, Edwin Powell's Game Time Radio. Um, being a veteran and knowing that you have to move on to the next game, is there any words of wisdom that you maybe have for the Rooks and knowing, hey, it's just another game. We got to move on. Got another game on Friday. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, – actually, what Nikki had told us anyway. So, uh, she said it. Um, just told them, you know what, I mean, watch the game, uh, see all your mistakes and stuff, and we move on. Uh, still got 20-some games to go. So, uh, forget this game, learn, and just move on. Danny Thompson, go ahead. Shakino, I know that, in, like I said, it's a quick turnaround with the game on Friday night. Uh, have you had a chance to even look at what New York has to offer at all so far? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry. No problem. Uh, with a quick turnaround with a game on Friday night, have you had a chance to even look at anything that uh, New York has to offer uh, in, the, in their opening game uh, that you have looked forward to on Friday? I've only seen them, I think, yeah, the opening game when we watched them play then. Um, uh, I mean, just from watching the game and knowing personnel, uh, the players on the team, it's, uh, right now there's a lot going. I'm pretty sure we're going to watch film uh, tomorrow and, you know, and try to get some recovery in and just be ready for them on, uh, uh, I don't even know what today it is. <laughs> Friday, I think. Close. Uh, Bailey, go ahead. Uh, I guess what would you say are the biggest learning opportunities or things to improve on from tonight? Oh, uh, we just really got to box out uh, right now. Just being undersized, missing a couple posts, and uh, just something we just got to box out. Uh, me, myself, including, um, we just got to re rebound more and just get back to playing our game, our pace. Um, I think we let uh, a lot of that dictate tonight, um, and just some missing shots that we usually hit. Um, but I think that's just you know just stand focused, and we can just get rebounds and get back to playing our pace. We'll be all right. All right, thank you, Strick. Thank you. Danny Thompson, go ahead. Blake, tough loss tonight. Um, what do you? What kind of positives do you take after a game like this, going into a game on Friday night at such a quick turnaround? Yeah, I think that um, the fact that we got to play our whole bench is really important because in this kind of season, we're going to need everybody. So for them to get experience early uh, is really, really beneficial. And I think they played with a lot of energy and played really hard. So we're gonna, they're going to learn from their mistakes and then we'll have a deeper bench and we'll be better at the end of the season. Edwin Powell, go ahead. Hey, Blake. Um... Angel is in, in, in a basketball icon here in Atlanta. Just curious of what it was like going against her, seeing her on the other side for the first time uh, without her being in an Atlanta Dream uniform. 
Um, yeah, well, we actually scrimmaged Vegas earlier in the, the preseason, so it wasn't the first time. Um, and it's okay, you know, I mean, I come out here and treat everybody the same. I treat everyone with as much respect as I possibly can, and we just know our scout and do what we need to do. Um, for me, it didn't feel much different. We miss her, but uh, yeah, it's just another game. Any more questions for Blake? All right, thank you, Blake. Thank you.